can we create a homebrew PCB exposure box using an old printer scanner? And the answer for that is after this message from our sponsor. This episode is brought to you by PCBWay, my trusted quality PCB manufacturer for project making. This is a PCB exposure box, and this is the project for today's video. In my experience, the quality of the presensitized method for making homebrew PCBs is really impressive, especially when you are dealing with tiny traces. Now, the presensitized method needs to be exposed to UV light for a certain amount of time. That means it won't etch well if it gets overexposed or underexposed. Ever since, I've been using my fluorescent lamp to expose the PCBs, but we are going to change that starting today. Here are the things that you will need. You'll need a 12 volt power supply, two 10K potentiometers, an I2C 16x2 LCD, a resistor, a buzzer, a TIP 31C transistor, a UV LED strip, a momentary switch, a female DC power jack, a header pin, and lastly, the star of the show, which is the old printer. Let's start by getting the scanner out of the printer and removing all the unnecessary components inside. Next to that is cutting the UV LED strip to your desired length and then mounting it to the surface of the scanner. In my case, my LED strip has adhesive on it. So I just peel the cover of the adhesive and then directly put it on the surface of the scanner. Now, I solder all the positive pads together using a bare solid wire and repeat the same process for the negative pads of the LED strip. This will give me a 12 volt parallel connection for all my LED strips. I tested the LED strip using my 12 volt power supply. And now that it is working, we're going to work on drilling holes in the body of the scanner. I started by marking all the places where I was going to put all the components. I grabbed my drill for the hole for the potentiometer, momentary switch, and female DC power jack. For the LCD cutout, I use a grinder. For this project, I decided to do a homebrew PCB. I use a software called Autodesk Fusion 360 for designing this project. Fusion 360 is a cloud-enabled 3D CAD CAM tool that enables designer and engineers to create prototype and manufacture products. It integrates mechanical design, electronics, and manufacturing on a single platform, making it ideal for product development and prototyping. I printed my PCB layout on a piece of paper using an inkjet printer. I then use a scissor to cut through the borders. I move on by fabricating the top layer of the photosensitive PCB board. I use my printout border as a guide and use a hacksaw for cutting it. You can also use a grinder if you want to cut it faster. Next, I peel the light protective film, grab a bottle of baby oil, and carefully spread it on the PCB. After that, I get my PCB printout and put it on the top of the PCB. Since I don't have a PCB exposure box yet, I use my classic fluorescent light to expose it in 10 minutes. Once done, I grab my developing solution and put it in the container. After that, I submerge my exposed board in the solution and the mask line showed up like magic. After that, I clean the board with liquid soap to remove the oil. Next, I place the board in my homebrew PCB shaker, for which by the way, I also have a tutorial. And when the etching process finishes, I go ahead and rinse it with water. There you have it, you have successfully made the PCB. If you don't want to go through all the PCB fabrication process, a quick shout out to our sponsor, PCB Way. PCB Way is one of the leading professional PCB fabrication services. Just upload your Gerber files, get an instant quotation, and get your PCB professionally done in just hours. Going back to the project, for removing the paint, I use acetone as it doesn't make my line thinner. Let's move on to the drilling. I grab my mini drill for drilling holes in my electronics components. Now, let's get on to the soldering. I usually use my soldering lead hole and third hand as a helping hand when soldering. I then mounted my electronics component based on my downloadable parts placement diagram which by the way you can download by clicking the big stick in my bio after that it will direct you to all my social media links and in there you can see my github click it and download the homebrew pcb exposure box using an old printer scanner everything you need is in the file package this includes the schematic diagram parts placement diagram the gerber files pcb layout and the arduino code after soldering use a wire cutter to remove the excess leads next is putting the potential 
thermometer and the LCD on the cover of the scanner. After that, I solder a wire to the components to prepare them for connecting to the PCB. After that, I connected the positive and negative wires of the LED to the PCB. And after doing that, I also connected the bow entire switch to the PCB. Next to that, I used a third hand to hold my female DC power jack while soldering the wire going to the PCB. And after doing that, I used the provided nut to fasten it in place. Also, I used a cable tie to manage the wire in the cover of the scanner going to the PCB. Now, I connected the wire from the I2C LCD to the PCB, followed by the wire from the potentiometer to the PCB. And also, I connected the buzzer to the PCB. Let's go to the coding part. I connected the USB cable from my computer to the Arduino board to upload the Arduino code. After uploading the code, I closed the scanner using its screws. Next to that, I measured the size of the screen and the potentiometer to put label on it. And to make it look even nicer, I added two plastic knobs for the brightness and duration potentiometers. And finally, let's move on on how we can use it. First, plug in the power supply. The LCD should start displaying text on it. Before placing your presensitized PCB, make sure to turn your brightness knob to zero so that your presensitized PCB will not get exposed before starting the timer. After that, it's time to put your presensitized PCB in the exposure box. Now, start experimenting with exposure duration that works well for you. After setting the duration, push the momentary switch to start the timer. Once done, the UV light will turn up to prevent overexposure. And that's how you make a homebrew PCB exposure box using an old printer scanner. And as always, keep learning and have fun. Bye!